Hello beautiful souls, we're here with the Daily Love Reading and today we're using the Romance Angels and the True Love Oracle. So take what resonates and leave the rest. I just want to say a big thank you for your love and support. If you're going through a difficult time right now, I'm offering my healing sessions a Compassion Key, half price right now. So you can book a session down below and the code is there for the half price. And you can email me at soulmagic99 at gmail.com with any questions. Okay, so what is the love message for the collective? This is collective messages. The highest light, love and truth. It's a daily love message. Got past life relationship come out here. You've known each other before. So the person that you came to this reading for, you've known each other in another lifetime. We've got to keep an open mind. Your soulmate may differ from your usual type and expectations. So they could be, you know, this person, or if you haven't met them yet, they're going to be very different to the usual type. Maybe we all tend to have a type, don't we? But they could be very different. So be open-minded to somebody new. Yeah, getting to know each other. As you reveal your innermost selves, your bond deepens. So be open with this person. Um... You know, especially if it's somebody new, if it's somebody that you know, you know, really share, you know, be have those open, honest conversations. And know you deserve love, you are lovable. So, you know, maybe you need to work on self-love right now so that you can attract in this love. Yeah, being flirtatious energy, extend your light-hearted energy to others. So being that light-hearted energy, don't take yourself or the situation too seriously. And calling in your soulmate, your prayers, affirmations and visualisations help bring you together. So, yeah, there's definitely um, a soulmate energy coming in here. Okay, so let's have a look at the true love. What else can you tell us about this? The highest light, love and truth. Yeah, we've got resolving conflict. So for some of you, it's definitely somebody you know already. And maybe you're in separation right now. And, you know, the message is to give love, empathy, compassion and understanding to each other. Maybe there's a need to resolve this conflict. Maybe you're wanting to resolve this conflict. Okay, and it's going to take love, empathy, compassion and understanding. So sometimes we need to get off our high horse and, you know, make the first move. Maybe somebody needs to. Yeah, we've got distorted masculine here. So maybe you were dealing with um, a distorted masculine. You were dealing with somebody who was unhealed, who had addictions, um, who was acting in that 3D toxic masculine energy. Um, and that's possibly why you went into separation. We've got the sacred woman. So they, they saw you very much as a divine feminine. I think they saw you in a very high esteem. They didn't, this came out in another message I did. They didn't feel worthy of you. Um, what else can you tell us about this? Yeah, we've got creativity. So it might take creativity to resolve this situation for those of you in separation and for those of you that haven't met them you could be you could both be very creative people and you could be creating you know not just a relationship but maybe creating projects or a business together uh, creating a life together and we've got inner child healing here reparenting yourself so I feel both of you maybe you could benefit from some inner child healing and the compassion key that I do, we do work a lot with the inner child as well. Um, but give your inner child that love, that compassion. Um, and you're coming into a period of feminine energies of being luminous. You know, you've done that work on yourself and your light is shining out there. Yeah, you're in a period of inner peace. You're going to be finding your inner peace. Yeah, we've got a masculine coming in, chivalry. So I feel there is a return for those of you in separation. They're coming forward in this, it reminds me of the Knight of Cups energy. 
you know, like the knight in shining armor <laughs> with the roses. They're seeing things from a higher perspective with that eagle energy. And they want to be romantic. They want to bring you fun. They want to bring you love. And I feel they've been working on their healing. And if this is somebody new, for those watching, for somebody new, you're going to meet somebody that's in that energy. But, you know, the, the answer is always forgiveness. You know, forgive yourself, forgive others uh, for any mistakes that you've made. Nobody is perfect at the end of the day. Okay, so I'm going to leave it there. Love and blessings. Take care.